a reason to it. Yeah. I want to leave a legacy for my grandchild. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Period. So I know every day that I'm getting up that I'm not beating a horse or whatever, working on my goals, it's a, it's a likely chance that that won't happen. That is why you want to attract higher paying clients. Yeah. Not because, oh, it's just sound like the right thing to do. Because you guys have goals and ambitions and things you want to do, that's ultimately what's going to get you there. Who want to be unique? Who want to stand out in the industry? Yeah. Ain't y'all tired of saying the same old oh, stuff? Yes. Yes. God, the same that's old enough. stuff. Somebody look at one person picture and then try and go mimic it and then before you know it, that same design is all over the place. Mm-hmm. Stay here to the end. You pretty much want to discover exactly what I did, because I'm going to tell y'all, to go from a drama queen to the draping queen. <laughs> and if you don't know, I'm Precious Stevens with the Park Academy, and not too long ago, I was exactly where you are today. I mean, really not that long ago, like two, three years ago. I was in the same same situation, right? I am not, and I was not, a seasoned entrepreneur in the events industry. This is not where I was. I was doing something totally different. I come from mental health. I come from corrections. I come from hair and makeup. Never was in this industry until I just woke up one day and decided I wanted to give it a shot. Since I launched my business in 2016 is when I launched my event planning business. I quit a business twice. I wanted to give up twice. Mm-hmm. One, the event planning side, I left that alone. I found out I ain't like it. That's too much work for me. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. And it's too emotional. I don't have time to be tied to a bride that long. <laughs> Some of you guys are amazing with it. I am not. <laughs> you got to know your weaknesses in business. 